I'm Ellen Miller. I am the co-founder and executive director of the Sunlight Foundation based here in Washington, D.C. I've been working in this field uh, since the late 1960s. Uh, when I first came to Washington, and I've been through several public interest organizations that I worked for. Uh, I spent time on Capitol Hill, and then moved into the arena of being a social entrepreneur and creating organizations where they didn't exist to enhance the exposure of data relating to money, power, politics, and then general open data for government. As a child of the 60s, the notion of a fair, equal, and participatory democracy just was a natural part of my upbringing, my you know, sort of early professional career. One of my early jobs on Capitol Hill was as a young investigative uh, staffer looking at the 1960s abuses by the FBI through the COINTELPRO program. And so that certainly heightened my awareness of what government sometimes does uh, in what they call in the interest of citizens, but in fact that turned out not to be. So it was a hugely important experience for me in understanding the power that government has and the need for a counterbalancing power of citizen engagement and citizen knowledge. Transparency in government is so important because it's the only way we have to begin to hold government accountable to demand answers to our questions. Some of the first work I did um, that I think was significantly new and beginning to use new technologies like the creation of databases that could talk to each other came through the Center for Responsive Politics where I was the founding director. There we created a site called opensecrets.org. And when we did that, it was an eye-opener. No, no longer did you have to depend on reams of undigested records from the Federal Election Commission, but you really could understand what the patterns of the political money giving was. Of course, in those days, we published that in a book that was about this thick, and every year we would do that. What I realized was the opportunity uh, that new technology was bringing. And so I decided to come back to the transparency roots and redefine that um, and really put it on steroids and say the internet can give us this information, it can give it faster, it can give it to us and citizens in a way they can really use it. And so that's what inspired the Sunlight Foundation. The first step for any government is to have its information open and accessible and transparent. That means it has to be put online. The, the thrust of the Sunlight Foundation has been to be agnostic about what it can be used for, but to do the basic policy analysis, the policy advocacy, to free this information and allow others, including ourselves, to build apps to make it easy for citizens to use. After eight years, the Sunlight Foundation is an established institution in Washington, and so now I am ready to move on to my retirement and let Sunlight move into the next era with a new leader. It's hard for me to say what I think my biggest achievement is because while I have headed many organizations, it has always been the teams of people that I work with who make my dreams, my successes, really our successes. I've always played an outside role in Washington, um, in part because I raised my two children while I was working full time. I didn't accept the nighttime invitations. I didn't go to the parties. I didn't go to the soirees. It really keeps your eyes on the prize. It's, it's not about you know, who you're friends with. It's not about whether they can get you into a Christmas party. It's really about what is the best thing for the people of this country and trying to do that. And so that outsider role has led me to basically speak truth to power, and I've had the tremendous luxury to be able to do that.